Edwardian Britain had the most developed system of seaside resorts anywhere in the world. There were almost 150 of them, welcoming millions of visitors each year. The seaside was packed with distinctive entertainments. Ladles and jellyfish, we are the Pier Echoes. Tony Liddington manages a troupe of historic performers. I've never seen a Piero bunch at the seaside. Is it a particularly Edwardian thing? Well, it started in uh, 1890 in Britain. My name is Bonnie. And, and they would perform on promenades and on the beaches, and they'd collect the, the pennies and the halfpennies from people sitting around. Oh, I say, I say, I say. What, what do, do you say? What quivers and lies at the bottom of the ocean? I don't know. What, what quivers, quivers and lies at the, at the bottom, bottom of the ocean? ocean? A nervous wreck. <laughs> 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 It's the equivalent today of a kind of indie pop chart or a kind of stand-up comedy club, but that's what, where people learnt their trade as to how to perform in front of the public. We all do! Everyone delights to spend their summer holiday. It's a really distinctive look, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. well, it, it comes from the Commedia dell'arte originally and uh, the character of Pedrolino, who used to wear completely white. So that's the sort of Renaissance street theatre from Italy? Yeah, the Italian comedy, some people call it. It's where we get Mr Punch from as well. Is it? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Settle down, you save up all the money you want till summer comes around. Then off you go to a spot you know where the cockle shells are found. Sat here in my blazer, my waistcoat. I'm pretty hot. Oh no! I think oh, dipping the sea. Scotch. Oh, cheers. <laughs> Get that down.